Let's talk today about what to do if you have an incision that is two different heights. This took a little bit of time for me to figure out. When you would run into this is, say, if you have a patient who's had previous abdominal surgery and they have that incision that goes down midline then around the belly button down below, frequently you'll get something like that that will be two different heights. Or sometimes if you're suturing a back the spine back together, the skin on the spine, depending on how the deeper layers have been approximated, will sometimes leave the incision different heights. And there might be other instances that you would get an incision that had different heights. So it took me a little bit of time to figure it out because your instincts are not, at least mine, were not correct in this, in, the, in thinking how to do. So I just have a little sample here. So you have, I'm gonna put the bases together so you have an incision that's two different heights. So how do you get this one to come down? I'll put it here to meet this one because that's what you want. The inclination is to take a bigger bite on the big side and a shorter bite on the short side to get them to come together. That's not going to make it work. You have to fight your intuition and take the same size bite and the same depth at skin level and at the deep level. So on this, the determining factor is always a short one. You can only get this deep a bite on the short, shorter side. So then that means on this side, you can only take, okay, you can only take a bite to here to get that because then once you finish a knot on both sides and are ready to tie it, well not finish a knot, but finish throwing the stitch on both sides and are ready to tie it, if you've taken them both equally on both sides, then when you go to tie it, it's going to pull this side down and this side up. So what I'd like to do is just show you a graph that I drew of it. So we're gonna look on this one first at B because that's the incorrect one. This is your intu intuition is to take that big bite on the big side and the small bite on the small side. But then if you look on the right of B at the bottom, when you go to tie that, it's not going to pull them down. It's not going to pull the, the high side all the way down. So A is the correct way to do. In A, you've taken the same size bite determined by the shorter bite on both sides and you've come as deep on both and at the same level on the surface level of it. And then when you tie it, it will pull the high side down and the low side up and they will meet and you'll be able to continue and have a nice closure when you're finished. If you liked what you heard and want to see more, stay tuned. And you can always go to my channel at First Assisting Techniques and Tricks.